What is the secret behind Yogi Adityanath's power? Do 84 Siddha Yogis walk with the Yogi? Does 9 Maha Yogis walk with the Yogi? Was it not in Yogi's destiny to become the Chief Minister? Friends, today, the drum of Yogi Adityanath's power is beating not only in our country, but in the whole world also. From the New York Times of America to the newspaper of Arab countries and their parliaments, the echoes of his power can be heard. As the Chief Minister of country's largest state, Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath is destroying the corruption, trini, crime and mafia in the soil. And lines of the forehead of those people are increasing, whose power is based on the corruption, crime and mafia. Friends, now the question arises, what is the secret behind the power of yogi due to which goons, criminals and mafia tremble and yogi serves the people fearlessly? What is the secret of yogi Adityanath's power due to which he is constantly touching heights and after joining politics? Today, the karma is going to reveal the secret of this power to you all. So keep on watching The Karma, a unique channel of Sanatan Dharma, culture and spirituality. Friends, Yogi Adityanath is basically a monk and a saint. Leaving his home at the age of 22, he joined the most prominent monastery of the Nath tradition. In fact, joining the Nath tradition and the Goraknath Math is the source of Yogi's power. The Nath tradition has made Yogi Adityanath extremely powerful physically, mentally and spiritually. Hence, the political background of these gurus in Goraknath Peet has made him a great warrior in the field of politics as well. First of all, we will talk about those powers of the Nath tradition which are also being flowed to Yogi Adityanath through the Guru Shishya tradition. Friends, Nath tradition has emerged from the tradition of ancient Siddhas. After the rise of the Nath tradition, it is also being called as the Siddhanath tradition. There has been many Siddhas in this tradition, but 84 Siddhas of them are prominent, who have many Siddhas and powers. The saints of the Nath tradition who were originated from the Siddhas strictly follow deep meditation Hatha Yoga and Celibacy. There are many Naths in this tradition too, but out of these, only 9 became prominent. These Naths are Matsudranath, Goraknath, Gahini Nath, Jalandhar Nath, Kenf Nath, Bhartri Nath, Rev Nath, Nag Nath, Charpati Nath. After Matsindra Nath, his disciple Gorakshnath carried forward the Nath tradition. Gorakshnath gathered this scattered tradition and its yoga vidyas in one place and gave an organized form to this tradition. Gorakshnath is also known as Goraknath. The deity of the Nath tradition is Lord Shiva. This sect is based on the practice of Hatha Yoga. The devotees of this cult worship Shiva with a sattvic spirit. They call Shiva by the name of Alak. Sadhaks, of Nath tradition stay at some places in the last stage of their age and enjoy the Akhan Dhuni while some go to Himalaya caves. Kundalini awakening has a special place in the Siddhanath tradition. Through Kundalini sadhana, the energy flows inside the sadhak. By this sadhak also can attain the Siddhvatva and Brahmatva. In this tradition, there is a special emphasis on the internal power of the individual. This tradition believes that there is a pit in the universe and this universe is in the pit itself. Pit means matter. In modern language, there is a micro universe in the micro universe and the macro universe in the micro universe itself. And this pattern goes on. It means that the whole universe is hidden inside every person. The power of the entire universe will awake inside the person of its awakening, which he can use for the betterment of the world. Yogi Adityanath, 
belongs to the Nath tradition, in which there have been many Siddhas who adjoined their vibration with the universe by awakening their internal power. For them, no matter or no individual in this universe is separated from them. They only act for the betterment of this world. They can do anything for the goodness of the world, can change the futures and erase. What does not exist can also be created by them. It is considered that the blessing of many great saints who have attained Shivatva in the Siddha and Nath tradition are always with Yogi Adityanath. It is said that Yogi Adityanath, whenever comes and goes, the blessing of 84 Siddhas and the 9 Naths are always with him. It is also said that Adityanath was not destined to become the chief minister. But by the grace of the Siddhas and Navnaths who have the power to change fortune, he became the chief minister. If the grace of these Siddhas remain like this, then they will also become Prime Minister. It is the power of these Siddhas that due to which Yogi as a Chief Minister take decisions fearlessly. The tradition of Sanatan from which Yogi Ji belongs does not perform any kind of discrimination based on religion or caste. There is only one criteria on this tradition that is Satvik and positive forces should flourish in the whole world and negative and demonic forces should be destroyed. That's why whenever negative or demonic forces raise their heads, Yogi Adityanath does not take any time to crush them. Now let's talk about Gorakshnath Peet whose Peethadishwar is Yogi Adityanath himself. This Peet has been interfering in the politics before the independence of the country. In 1920, Pithadishwar Digvijay Nath of Goraksh Peet participated in the non-cooperation movement of Congress. He supported it with the Congress till 1931. But when the Congress accepted the communal award, then he felt that there is a need to firmly establish Sanatan Hindu Dharma which can do the welfare of the whole world. Digvijay Nath joined the Hindu Mahasabha in 1947. After independence, in 1967, Digvijay Nath was elected MP of Gorakhpur on a Hindu Mahasabha ticket. Digvijay Nath also brought his disciple Advi Nath into politics. Digvijay Nath also brought his disciple Advait Nath into politics. Advait Nath was elected MLA from the Maniram Assembly seat in 1962, 1967, 1974 and 1977. After the death of Digvijay Nath in 1969, Advait Nath became the Pithadishwar of Gorakshpeet. Advait Nath also continued to participate in politics along with becoming Pithadishwar. Advait Nath represented Gorakhpur in the Lok Sabha in the years 1970, 1989, 1991 and 1996. He had an important contribution to the movement for the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. Yogi Adityanath, the successor of Mahant Advait Nath, won the Lok Sabha election from Gorakhpur in 1998 and become a member of parliament for the first time at the age of 26. Yogi Adityanath represented the Gorakhpur parliamentary seat for five consecutive terms and become the chief minister for the first time in 2017. Under his leadership, the BJP again won a majority in 2022 assembly and became the chief minister for the second time. It is clear that Yogi Adityanath not only got spiritual achievement from his Guru tradition, but he also got a strong political background. It is said that for these reasons, he is a skilled politician along with being a saint. Friends, you must have liked our video on the spiritual tradition of Yogi Adityanath. Please like and share it.
and if you have not subscribed to our channel then do it right now so that you may continuously get the videos regarding sanatan dharma and the spiritual world thank you